Arsenal Power Control Surface scripts actually ship as six scripts. For example, here we have Arsenal LPP for the Launchpad Pro, and we have six scripts, Arsenal LPPA through Arsenal LPPF. Each of these is functionally identical, but each can have its own settings. And to show you how that's useful, let's first take a look at what would happen if we only had one script to work with. Here I'm running two instances of Arsenal LPPA. From both controllers, I'm going to have access to the same modes. And that can be useful in some cases, but it can also be restrictive. Having multiple scripts opens up some interesting possibilities. Here I'm running Arsenal LPPA and Arsenal LPPB, both of which have different settings. For this example, I've also turned on mode linking, which links up mode selection. So switching between modes in one script will also switch between modes in the other script. On the left, I'm using a mode that can chop up clips. And on the right, I've got a mode that can launch clips. And that also selects the clips I'm going to chop up on the left. And here, on the left, I've got a mode that can play instruments. And on the right, I've got a mode that can step sequence. Multiple scripts is also useful for creating different mode layouts and such for different use cases. For example, mixing, production, performance, etc. And you can switch between these very easily. Many of the modes within Arsenal operate upon a single track. By default, these will apply to the selected track. And this is useful because it allows you to control any track in your set. But it can also be problematic. Let me give you an example. Here I have two scripts that are both in note mode. In my set, I have two instrument tracks. One with analog and the other with a drum rack. And I'd like each of my scripts to control one of these tracks. Currently, I can't do that. Right now, they're both controlling analog. If I navigate to the drum rack track, now they're both controlling the drum rack. To solve this, I can lock one of the scripts to the analog track. And now it'll continue to control that track regardless of which track is selected. So now I can navigate to the drum rack track and control it with the second script. And each Arsenal Power Control Surface script is independently lockable in this way. Script linking allows you to link up to six scripts together to form a larger control surface. A classic example of this is linking a script that does have encoders to one that doesn't have encoders. In that case, both scripts will control the same group of eight tracks. This is called match linking. You can also link scripts vertically. In this way, you'll be able to control up to 16 scenes worth of clips simultaneously. And finally, you can link scripts horizontally so that you can control 16 tracks at a time. The settings for Arsenal Powered Control Surface scripts are stored in your user directory. In this way, when you update to a new script version or a new version of Live, your settings remain in place. All of the settings files are plain text files that include detailed instructions, so they're very easy to use. In the main settings folder, there's currently one global settings file called linking, and this is where you make settings related to script linking. You'll also have a folder for each script that you've used. These folders aren't created until you use a script for the first time. Here you'll find mode list files, where you specify the modes that your script should use, a general settings file where you'll find global settings related to the script, for example, here's a setting for limiting volume controls to 0 dB. And finally, some modes have setting files. For example, note mode, if you're using it with a controller that has RGB LEDs, will have a drum rack settings file. And here you can specify the LED colors to use for drum racks. Arsenal Power Control Surface Scripts, as well as the modes they use, make heavy use of Live's status bar, which is the horizontal bar at the bottom of Live's window. This helps to keep you informed of what's going on in your scripts. For example, when you switch between modes, the selected mode will be shown in the status bar. As another example, when you change the settings of a mode, the new settings are shown in the status bar. So here I'm changing scale settings in note mode, and you can see the new settings are shown here. 